but yeah, so I've started. So my second year, due to lockdown, I I haven't studied much. So I've started my serious preparation from the month of Jan. So I've completed my syllabus, eleventh and twelfth till the end of May, and now I've still left out with inorganic, okay. which I've completed by the day after tomorrow. So, so I'm so while revision whenever whenever I sit for the revision, I so I just I wrote down two to three pages for each chapter short notes. I'm just recollecting them and going and attempting the questions. Great. So I'm able to do the questions, but I'm when I sit down for the mock test, and I'm I'm unable to solve them. My highest in mocks was till till date is one eighty. I'm unable to cross it. So you are talking of which subject uh, specifically, chemistry or all the three? No, all the all the subjects there. Okay. So basically, I think uh, the problem is of mock test only. Like you have to give a number of mock tests to get acquainted to the pressure, to the time limitations, etc. Because if you have already completed the chapters, if your syllabus is complete, that means you know the concept. Now what yes. you have to know is how to apply them within a uh, given time limit, right? So I would just recommend yes. you to give as many mock tests as you can. Like that would be the best thing, and gradually you will see your scores improving and you improving in your temperament, etc. Okay, but even. Even when I'm sitting down to study, boy, but I'm unable to know which chapter I'm lagging back in. In mock okay. test, they are showing, but I'm unable to find out which concept and which, how how should I cope in that. So basically, you have to analyze like uh, what all mistakes you have done in your mock test. So, for example, out of one fifty questions, if you attempted one thirty, and you did fifteen mistakes, so just sit properly and like just analyze that out of those fifteen mistakes, how many you did just because of a silly calculation error. Or how many did you did just because of a silly plus minus mistake? So okay. those mistakes, uh, you can't be, you can't perfect those mistakes because those are not related to concepts. Re- the remaining mistakes which are there, maybe because you applied a concept but it gave a wrong answer at the end. So just figure okay. out what all topics they are, and then okay. go and revise those topics and do questions from those topics. Okay, so from okay. mock test only you would get to know that which topics you are lacking in and which require more practice. Okay, man. And boy, so whenever I sit down for revision, I'm unable to find out how should I start my revision. Like only revise the formulas or go for the theory. First of all, start with the questions. Like if you have any coaching modules, if you have previous questions, if you have any other material that you have done for BITSAT mm-hmm. or J, so just okay. go to the questions directly. And if you are okay. unable to solve a particular question, then either look at the solution or go to the corresponding theory part of the chapter. Okay, so there's okay. no need to revise the whole theory or all the formulas. Just revise those which you are not able to solve in a question. Okay. Okay. So even when I see, so yesterday I give my mock test. Where I got one thirty five somewhat. So I've started the mock test. Uh, first I started with the logical reasoning and English, boy. Okay. So I've completed then. Then I came to the chemistry part. So I'm unable to find out which I know. I'm I'm able to recollect the theory, but I'm un. Unable to find out which chapter does it belong or which concept should I apply. Okay, okay. Have you made short notes of chemistry? Yes, boy. Like, uh, not the chapter ones. Uh, you can do so if you haven't done so yet. Like, uh, write all the reactions down in a separate notes fashion. Okay, so there okay. might be various reactions in different chapters. So just enlist yes. them down. It might take you four to five pages in total. But your all the reactions, if they would be in a one place in a given place then it would be much easier to you to relate while you are giving a question right so just write all the reactions at one place similarly if there are any processes like there is calcination there is roasting haber's process contact process write all the processes at one place write all the formulas at one place. so that would help you uh, recollect what uh, what is the answer to a given question okay so how to do go go forward with the revision by yeah? so how should i Reach out to each subject's revision. Like Max, I'm just revising the formulas and going with the sums, but I'm unable to re- uh, cope up with physics and chemistry. I'm doing my Max well. Okay, okay. So for chemistry, you just need to read and reread NCERT as many times as you can. Okay, and okay. eventually, if you have read your NCERT at least once, then you must have been able to identify that what topics you are weak in or what topics you yes, forget ma'am. the most. So just start revising yeah. those chapters first, okay? Because rest rest of the things you already know. So just read the NCERT. If you want, you can go to NCERT Exemplar and do its MCQs. Or if you are already comfortable with that level, you can go to Need Previous Questions and solve the questions of chemistry. 
so chemistry will just involve reading and then applying it in questions and then again come and coming and reading as well as the short okay. notes that i told you all right for right. physics there will be same thing that we use that we do in maths just directly go to the question and if you face any problem then come to the theory then read the concepts so just directly go to okay. the question whatever material you have solved go to that material only don't take out any new material or don't take out any new book or any new other thing that maybe your friend has told or any other person has told just revise okay. from that material which you have done before yes so how should i how many sub chapters or subjects should i revise daily by you can start with revising two subjects daily okay and it can okay. vary that how many chapters you are revising for example if you are taking integration then it won't be possible yes. to take any other chapter in maths on that particular day right yes. but if you are taking yes. for example sets and relations if you are taking determinants matrices then you can club three four chapters together okay so just try okay. to make a schedule for you for the next 10 15 days and based upon okay. your convenience based upon that how many chapters you can do on a particular day just follow okay. that so just make your schedule your own way and then start following that so now i'm giving my mock test weekly once by i started it 3 4 back, weeks back okay. so so weekly once so how i'm thinking to stop for two weeks and come start to start the revision from first chapter to the till end and given another mock so that i could get more in depth that which all chapters i don't know yeah yeah so how do, afterwards then uh, i i can cope up what do you definitely, say about definitely definitely you can implement that like this is a great thing because in bitsat what happens is that most people feel that mock tests are very important even the toppers used to say every every time every year that mock tests are very important if you are not giving mock tests you might not be able to score good but more important okay. than mock tests is syllabus if your syllabus is not completed not only you will score bad score poor in your mock test but also in your exam because finally yes. you are going to be tested on the concepts on the different chapters that you have learned right yes, so first focus upon syllabus completion and if you are comfortable after giving um, giving mock tests every 10 days or after 15 days then that's perfectly fine but your main priority should be syllabus completion okay so bhai i am unable to i am so i am unable to find out so should i write the mains which are coming in july and august or should i should i attempt it or just leave it so what do you recommend bhai i would recommend just attempt it and just give it like any other mock test okay Okay. because uh, just don't see it in terms of that you are going to give a national level exam where you will be assessed on your score and there will be counseling and colleges etc just give it okay. as a different mock test because uh, according to what i am able to understand is that you are focusing primarily on bits right yes where i want to yeah so just give your j mains as a mock test based upon your j mains also you would be able to realize that what all chapters you are lacking in you would also be able to see that how many things you are able to remember so just give it like a mock okay. test analyze where you are lacking and just revise all the things that would help you much but like that would help you very much in bitsat because okay. the experience itself of going to an exam center sitting among all the students and then giving a national level exam that is a unique experience that you can't get at home while giving any mock test so that experience yes, itself is going to help you a lot in your bitsat yes bhai so bhai i haven't done most of the sums bhai so i have, I have a, in physics hc varma bhai i'm just looking at the solved examples and just writing it down in the side place given by till till today i did it most so from the last week also i started really sitting for the questions so should i go for the again solved examples or should I, should you recommend you recommend me to start another sums start doing another other, other sums like if you have your coaching material or dc pande just start doing okay, that uh, ex level 1 exercises or if you don't have okay. either of them you can go to need previous questions and start doing the physics okay. problems Okay, and okay, if you man. face any difficulty in any problem, then you can come back to HC or MATLAB examples, and then look at what is missing. Okay, man. And I'm in chemistry. I've done with the uh, NCERT exemplar, boy. Each chapter, I'm I'm trying to complete it, boy. And, and okay. is it enough, boy? Yeah, yeah. For Bitsa, it is it is completely enough. For Max, I've completed the Adi Sharma, except for the integration and binomial. Okay. okay. Other chapters, I've completed most of the part of Adi Sharma. That's that's so, really uh, great. Like after Adish, my you can easily score more than hundred marks out of one thirty five in maths. Okay. So, but during the exam, some during the mock test or any exam, but I'm unable to recollect them, boy. It is maybe because you have time. maybe because you have not revised them well. Okay. Okay. So just try to revise at least the important chapters. So first of all, complete okay. the integration. You can leave binomial. We hardly get a okay. hardly get one or two questions from binomial, so you can just leave it. Just complete the integration mm -hmm. first. 
and then you can yeah. start to revise the important chapters from maths article okay don't no okay. need to revise every chapter just revise the important ones first so that you are okay. able to score majority questions in your mock okay ma'am so what should be the main, what should be the main uh, main criteria for the last one month bhaiya that is july so in the so last one month just give your complete time to revision as well as mock test and give priority to revision first okay ma'am Okay, and, uh, even even while you are solving questions for a second time, for example in RD Sharma or in NEET previous questions, so yes, there also you can just put a timer at your side and then assess that how many questions you are able to solve in how many times. So that yes, would do the same per that would solve the same purpose as of mock test. So even if you are giving less mock test, but you are solving questions according to a timer, that yes, it would be it would be perfectly fine. That would then, be no difference. But yeah, in the last four weeks I have written the mock test. Yeah, I am able to. Solve the logical reasoning, but in English they are they are going more more in depth. Bhaiya. So how to learn cope up with like English? We we can't do anything in English because it's not in our hands. Like even if I okay. tell you that do these material these sources, there's no guarantee that would you be asked upon those materials or not, right? Okay. So the general strategy is to focus upon the remaining subjects: physics, chemistry, maths, and logical reasoning. And okay. as we all know, English is completely luck based. So just okay. don't take. Yeah. the score of english uh, very seriously or just you can also attempt it at the end because there's no point in investing time attempting questions in the beginning okay bhaiya so bhaiya in my mock test i don't have the extra 15 questions which we get in the main exam bhaiya okay so i'm trying it i'm trying to complete the total test by 2, 2 and 1/2 hours so that the extra 30 minutes i could in the main exam i could leave for the 15 questions so is it better or should i take the whole 3 hours and just try to focus the 150 questions i would say uh, unless you are getting a score of at least 250 you should you should give complete 3 hours to the paper okay because what okay. happens is that many a times in pursuit of in pursuit of solving the extra bonus questions we end up doing a yes. lot of silly mistakes because we tend okay. to solve questions very fast right yes, so we sir. we can't afford to uh, do a question wrong in bits hat because the negative marking is even more than j means in j means we have 1/4 then bits hat we have 1/3 so yes until and unless you are getting at least 250 marks in your mock test don't try to complete your paper in 2 and 1/2 hours take your time don't go very fast and just try to uh, minimize your silly mistakes and mistakes as much as possible okay bhai so bhaiya even even during the mock test bhaiya i'm i'm sitting down so i'm so in the first hour i'm completing the chemistry but the physics is taking me too too long okay. so in that in that tension i'm un, i'm unable to complete the physics my logical reasoning and english part so is it common that a, that a long time is taken by physics and other subject uh, i i don't think it's very common but what you can do is that there's a strategy of how you can attempt the paper like you can okay. uh, Just divide your three-hour slot into six slots of half an hour each, and after every yes, half an hour, just switch the section. So for the first okay. half an hour, if you are doing chemistry, then as soon yes, as the first half hour ends, then go to physics. Then after that okay, half an hour, go to maths. So okay, how this will facilitate you is that even uh, if if a particular section is taking a very long time, then before you are stuck at a question for five to ten minutes, you would be switched to another section. So the wastage of time would be much less. So you can okay. experiment this strategy in your one of the mock tests, okay, and then okay, see man. how much results you are seeing. Okay. So the whole the whole syllabus revision that is max physics chemistry can be done in more how many days? Where how how many days? Care should I take like, to complete? Uh, you can easily done it in fifteen twenty days, I guess. Okay, man. because I'm take trying I'm trying to take a break of two weeks and trying to complete it. Is two weeks enough for? completing the whole revision yeah, yeah definitely it's enough and uh, just make sure that you are doing ample amount of questions as well and you are not just okay. revising the theory right okay man. and if, even if there are some things in which you are not able to understand the concepts for example in physics don't yes, go for understanding them don't go for trying to understand them just learn the way they are solved okay so for example okay, there is a question from rotation dynamics in which you are not yes, able man. to understand why they have done a particular step so don't yes, try man. to invest a lot of time to understand that step just Uh, learn the process. Just learn the different steps, and in bit side okay. you would be able to solve the questions without concept as well. Right? Okay, man. Okay, anything else? No, boy, I'm I'm done. 
Okay, so good luck and just let me know in on the Telegram if you have any more queries. Okay, I'll answer yes. you there. Yeah, even I messaged you that day by about the topper mock test. You replied. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you, man. Okay, most welcome. All the best. Thank you, man.